So there's two brief things I want to talk about in this short video. Um, as you can see, the Darth Vader, and then the guy that actually played Darth Vader to your uh, left, but could not voice Darth Vader because James Earl Jones was the actual voice of Darth Vader. And briefly, if you look at Darth Vader's chest, that little square actually represents the 12 gems of the 12 tribes of, the, of, of Judah. And it's crazy that Darth Vader has to say to a child in this movie, Luke, I am your father, and Luke isn't wearing anything black. Yet, Darth is representing dark. You, you need to understand that. But I just want to play this because I want to find out if this guy not only was jealous that he could not also voice Darth Vader, but listen to what he says about his accent. Listen to this. But that didn't stop a little Let's just listen real brewing. quick. Here we go. Apparently, Prowse was salty for years. Watch Feel this. Like James stole some of his and you remember, voice, let's just listen real quick. Listen to what he says. Yes, terribly. I, I, actually, I performed all the way through the picture. Now watch this. Um, because I have to during all the dialogue and the actors, the other actors in the film have to react to it and things like Right, so he's actually doing the talking, but not in the movie. Now, well, listen. Did you hear what he just said? Very slight, very slight. West Country. Do you not understand what that really means? They know what the real West and East is. They do. But I'm not going to go there. Let's just go about one, more, one other thing real quick is the actual uh, so-called uh, possible shooting that's going to happen at Binghamton High School uh, tomorrow or this week or whatever. There was a threat that was put on social media, uh, on Snapchat. I'm sure you probably already read it already or seen it or heard it by now. And if you haven't, it's going on across the country. Why? Because they want civil war, whether you like it or not. And ironically, I told you guys before, if you really truly understood why they actually went after Abraham Lincoln... And why Lincoln was who he was in that civil war and during the civil war, you would understand what they're trying to do still today. Just saying.